Hello, welcome. I'm going to play Sporting News Baseball on the Commodore 64. Just letting you listen to a little more of that music. Take me out to the ball game with a few sound effects thrown in. So, this game was published by Epix in 1988. And it only allows for single games, so there's no season or playoffs. So that's unfortunate, but there are a lot of other options. You can see here, player versus computer, player versus player, computer versus computer, and resume game. So you can save the game at any time. You just need a blank floppy disk. It seems though, anytime you play player versus computer, you are always the visiting team. And there's the option to use designated hitters or not. I'm going to use them. Now, this is also a great option. You can make your own team. You can name it and then select from a roster of Hall of Fame players. So, this does include the Major League Baseball Players Association, but not the MLB license, so there's no logos or team names, just city names and the real players from the 1987 season. I would make my own team, but it takes a while, so I'm just going to use a pre-selected team. And of course, this is 1987, so you have four divisions, American League East and West and National League East-West bit different than it is today. I'm just going to go with the World Series teams that year. However, I'm going to make some changes so you can see what you can do here. Now, you can just hit computerized lineup. They'll throw in the batting order, select the starters. You can do manual lineup. You can trade players. Everything you do though is for one game only. It all resets when you start another game. So you can trade players between teams or you can add Hall of Fame players. As I mentioned, if you create a team from scratch, you get to do the Hall of Fame players. That's what they give you. And there are a lot of them. I don't know if it's the whole Hall of Fame at the time. Very well could be. There are a lot of players. So I'm going to... I think, I don't know if I have to delete players first. Let me see. All right, here's where I delete. So you got all these different options for the, the Hall of Fame. They're divided by position. But first, got to get rid of players to make room for them. So just delete a few players. Really don't need all these guys. I'm only going to play a few innings. It would take too long to play a full game. It's going to take a little bit of time. So yeah, I'm really going to be playing Hall of Famers with some twins. <laughs> but it's more fun that way. I always like playing as the old players. Alright, that should do it. So let me just add a few pictures. And boy, are there a lot of pictures to choose from. I mean, obviously, Hall of Fame, so they're all great. You can't really go wrong with any of these guys. Probably won't even use very many. Take Sandy Koufax. Hmm. All right, Christy Mathewson. That'll do. I'll add Yogi Berra. I'm a Yankee fan, so, you know, I had a lot of Yankees. Plus all those old-timers, a lot of Yankees in the Hall of Fame. Take Jackie Robinson here. Although I may, I'm going to start some twins, so I probably don't need all these guys.
Take Honus Wagner. But just to give me some options, I'm not sure how many guys they even deleted. Hmm. Getty Matthews, I guess. And see what if we have any room left for some outfielders. Now, there's a ton of great outfielders. I guess I'll go for Babe Ruth. All right, no more space on the roster. That'll do. So then you choose your starting lineup. Try to do this quickly. Okay, I probably should take more twins, huh? <laughs> oh well, whatever. Let's see, hey, I'm gonna take Gary Gaetti. Take Babe Ruth and a couple twins. Of course, Kirby Puckett should be here. And don't recall who Davidson is. I think Tom Bernanski and Dan Gladden. I think Gladden was their was a starter, but yeah, whatever. And a starting pitcher. Let's take Koufax. Oh, and we get a designated hitter. All right, let's take another twin since I use so many Hall of Famers. Take Kent Herbeck. And you get to do your batting order as well, which is nice. Of course, I don't really know who's fast, but... Hmm, let's put Puckett second. And there you go. And I gotta pick the computer, so I'm going with the Cardinals. Since they were the other World Series team. Computerized lineup. Looks like I get Vince Coleman, Ozzy Smith. Quite a few recognizable guys. Of course, it's around the same time I started following sports. And buying a lot of video games, I guess, in the late 80s. I have a lot of games with these players in them. There were a lot more baseball games back then. You don't have very many today, unfortunately. You get MLB The Show if you own a PlayStation 4. And the RBI Baseball game from Major League Baseball, which isn't very good. It's your only other licensed baseball game option. Alright, so here... There's a lot on screen. The game does give a lot of data. You get the box score along the top. I'm really surprised they've put so much on screen. You get to see every base regardless if anyone's on it or not. The number of pitches, the count, and then the pitcher and the batter. So the pitcher won't throw until I ready up. Just hit the button and I tell him I'm all set. Ball ball. Another foul ball. <laughs> I don't know if my timing is just bad. Probably is. I used to play this game a lot. Three foul balls in a row. Because I love stats, I have a lot of little pieces. No, I strike out paper and I crammed into the box for this. With all a bunch of scores and various stats written down from these games. And I swung way too late. I tend to swing at everything. <laughs> it's kind of what I do in every baseball game. It's so rare that I walk. Oh, I'm swinging too early, I think. It's down the line. You caught it. Well, that's a good one. It's gone.
This is the only ballpark in the game. It's just rather generic. There aren't any others to choose from, though. That was Lou Gehrig. Now it's Babe Ruth. You can't aim your hits. Like, you can swing up and down in the strike zone. Oh, Babe Ruth did it too. Line drive. Of course, being 1988, there's no announcer. There's no voices either. It's just the crowd chair and the music. Although the music, only in the title screen, I guess. I don't think they played it any other time. Ah, oh, so I'm late, I guess. All right, I may not do so hot here. <laughs> I don't know. I've practiced a little bit, played a few innings here and there before recording this. But I'm not great at fielding. It takes, you know, a second to re realize, you know, who they assigned control to. Because you just gotta follow the ball in the shadow. Every pitcher has the same four pitches, so it's not, you know, realistic in the sense that you know, I don't know what Sandy Koufax's pitches were, but he just has whatever everybody else has in this game, which would be fastball, changeup, curveball, slider. Ooh, got by. Of course, there is stealing. You can try to pick off. And I balked. <laughs> I do that a lot. I don't know. I probably should have checked the manual again exactly. When to press the button. Probably shouldn't press the button after I start the wind up. Just the D-pad to, uh kind of move the pitch around in the strike zone or out of the strike zone. Oh, I'm not going to get it. I can throw to the cutoff man or any base. Oh wow, the guy at second didn't score. Well, that is surprising. I guess he thought I might catch it. That's alright, I don't <laughs> I expected this game to have offense. This is why I planned on only playing a few innings. I was mentioning I wrote down a lot of my stats. The highest score I could find was twenty one to nothing. Which is pretty oh I balked again, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> it takes long to deliver, I'm still hitting the button, I think. Wondering if I did or not. I guess you don't need to hit it again. That's why I keep doing it though. I don't know why. Yeah, once you're ready up, that's it. Don't press the button again unless you want to pick them off. Alright, not too bad. This game, that looks good too. Another home run. This game is available on Apple II computers and MS DOS. Now there is a Super Nintendo game called this same name, Sporting News Baseball, but it came out much later. I think it's just completely unrelated, other than the title. Sporting News, of course, was a sports newspaper. I believe it started in St. Louis in the late 1800s. 
probably have a few issues, but it's uh, not a newspaper anymore. It's just a, I guess, online news. They have a website still. But the paper ended in 2012. Pretty common, a lot of print media. Just like a lot of the video game magazines disappeared. Just too expensive. Everyone gets the news online. And the box cover of this game has Gary Carter on it in a Mets uniform. A high pitch, but I'll swing anyway. And look at that. Go for two. This is weird though, they don't run to the base. I've seen that. Sometimes they don't even, the pitcher doesn't make it over there in time. Even though the first baseman easily could have, he just waits to throw it to the pitcher. So, being 1988, being a Commodore 64, I think this game looks quite good. I like it better than Hardball, though Hardball doesn't have a Major League license, a player's license. Uh, I don't like the Hardball outfielding, or any of the feeling really, this one's better. But, in 1989, just a year later, Sega Genesis came out and Tommy Lasorda Baseball and that looks obviously a lot better than this. So I think we were just, just kind of came out toward the end of less well right before graphics took off I guess but I mean I'm sure the other computer games like the PC Amiga stuff looks a lot better than this. And the Commodore kept going for a bit, but this was a later release, I guess. Late 80s. It's kinda when all the most of the games stopped releasing on Commodore. They all moved to PC and Mac. Wow. Struck him out looking. Oh, that's because I'm not paying attention and I'm up. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when I talk. I was just hitting buttons, not even really paying attention. We switched. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're going to catch that. I know I say it all the time, I I play so bad in a lot of these videos because I just can't talk and pay attention too well at the same time. Yes, I can't multitask, I guess. Alright, I'll do probably four innings, I guess. I was playing baseball this week. Oh, he beat it out. Of course, because uh, 2019 season opens. Well, I plan on posting this on opening day, so today. I always try to do something for baseball. Last couple of years, I think I just did blog posts. Though when I kicked off the, this channel, I started with starting lineup talking baseball game. Oh, we're going to double him up. Uh, I thought I caught it. <laughs> Did I not catch it? Oh no, maybe that guy was leaving the field. I don't know what happened, but there's a guy in first. Oh well. Whatever. There's only one out. Yeah, so I started the channel with a baseball game. 
Oh, that's gone. Oh well. Yeah, I was saying I do blog posts for opening day a couple times where I just I just scan video game magazines from the late eighties, early nineties of baseball game reviews. In fact I did scan one of this once. I don't remember what the review said, but I'm pretty sure I have a review of this on the blog. I don't recall what magazine it's from, maybe Commodore Magazine or Video Games and Computer Entertainment. But I do own a lot of baseball games. And Commodore, I've got this one, Hardball, Street Sports Baseball. Wow, another home run. <laughs> You're getting to see a lot of home runs. Yeah, Street Sports Baseball is another one from Epix. And I've got one from GameStar. That's one I'm always actually going to play for this. I think it, even though it's so basic, it's really basic. It's a single screen, side view. It's kind of funny looking, but it might be more entertaining to watch. But I couldn't get it to load. It wouldn't load past the title screen. Oh, I moved the wrong way. It seems to happen a lot with these games. I Sometimes they load, sometimes they don't. And then if I try another day, sometimes they load. So it might be the disk drive. I do have two disk drives. But one doesn't work as well as the other. I think I was using the better one. Oh, I balked again. <laughs> I'm hitting that button over and over for some reason. Yeah. I don't think I'm throwing many fastballs. Let me throw some fastballs. Yeah, that's nuts. I don't know why I keep feeling like I have to hit the button. I think it's just from playing so many other games. I typically, I have to hit the button more, but. Typically, you're hitting the button when you're throwing, but now this one, you just you ready up with the button and the pitch at the same time, and then don't touch the button again unless you're going to go for a pickoff. I do have another baseball game on this, but it's really bad. I know I don't like it. I, haven't, I hardly remember what it was like, but I just know I didn't like it. I think it's called... I don't know whose name is first. It's Steve Garvey versus Jose Canseco. And Grand Slam Baseball, I think it is. Alright, I'm going to end when I get out here. All right, a lot of home runs, a lot of box. <laughs> yes, I'm not paying too much attention, but I'm gonna end it here because you've seen everything there basically is. Well, you know what? Before I end it, let me show you two things. I will change my picture. This doesn't take too long. No flipping discs like Madden football. When I showed that, that was ridiculous. You have to flip the disc like four times or something. Here it does load the menu, doesn't take too long. Now it says delete player. It always is like, oh, delete him from the floppy disk forever. But no, it's just temporary. You just put Jeff Raiden in. I'm going to stop playing anyway. And there's one other thing you can actually do, which is a little surprising. You can reposition the fielders like individually. So, once it loads back, I hit the R key, and then I can select a fielder, and then select where he should stand. Okay, I want to make sure I show everything in the game, and this is probably it. Well, I didn't steal any bases, but hit too many home runs. So there's the cursor. You just you know, get on him, hit the button. And then say here, play behind second base. There he goes. Yeah, you can reposition all the fielders. I don't know how to get off of this. Maybe hit R again. Space bar. And that is that.
Yeah, I'll let Jeff Reardon throw a pitch without balking because there's nobody on base. And I'm going to end it here. So thanks for watching. Enjoy opening day in the 2019 season.